Max's wife left him and took the kids for playing Dude, we're Resident recording! Evil. Fuck! Welcome to Resident Evil 2. God damn it! Now, you guys don't know this at home because we never uploaded it, but we recorded half of Resident Evil 3. Nothing went wrong, we just never uploaded it. Technically, the part of Resident Evil 3 we recorded takes place before Resident Evil 2, but we're playing Resident Evil 2. Yeah, so uh, the reason I didn't upload it is because I forgot to upload it. Um. Also, we had mic quality issues back then. Oh, we did record that with the old mic. Yes, the old, the old standing desk. Um. So. I love Resident Evil. He does love Resident Evil. I have played eight the most. Seven is probably my favorite. Um, I like... People could be like, oh, you're fake. You play the remakes and the modern ones, but fuck you, I've played Resident Evil Zero. Um, I've beaten Resident Evil Zero. I fucking love Zero. Um... Mm. But I'm, uh... It tastes good. Um... <laughs> uh, hey, look, you just made a white joke. <laughs> Uh, on the call, it's like how it looked like a corpse, and he just said it sounds like my wife. <laughs> oh, not again. <laughs> um, so, since that we've only played 7 and 8 on the channel, Resident Evil's about zombies. <laughs> uh, For the most part. No, no. Zero. No, no, no. No, zero, Zero's kind of about leeches. We played through Resident Evil 7 on the channel. <laughs> I also didn't upload Resident Evil 8. Did you not upload it? <laughs> no, it's here. <laughs> it's just the files are here, and I didn't feel like going through them. To All right, we might, we might, we might, we might. We're just gonna. We're, we're probably just gonna re-record Resident Evil 8. <laughs> Yay! That, I love that. Eight, game. I am comfortable enough to play on the hardest difficulty. I will do that. I'll play it on the hardest difficulty. You have not played eight. Yeah, yeah I'll play it on the hardest difficulty. Um. Yeah, but the thing is, I'm comfortable enough to play it on the hardest difficulty without any of the extra bonus weapons. <laughs> Alright, well, now we're getting tactical. <laughs> it's like, I'll fucking do that whole game hardest difficulty with the fucking Lemmy. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. Uh, uh, but, <laughs> um, so, Resident Evil Zero is technically about zombies. But that's early Resident Evil, where half the bosses you fight are just fucking animals. Yeah. Like, there's monkeys in that game. <laughs> My people. Uh, so, Zero, Zero is technically about, like, zombies spread through leeches. Yeah. One is about zombies. Two is about zombies. Three is about zombies. Four is about parasites. I have no idea what's up with five. Six is about zombies and parasites. Seven is about mold. Eight is about parasites. And mold. And mold. Well, it, it's the byproduct of that parasite. It's the it's byproduct oh, no. of the mold. It's the byproduct of what the byproduct... Okay, the, the... The mold is the The origin. mold is the byproduct of the um, parasite, which is a byproduct of what the actual issue in that game is. The mold... Because it's the megamycete. It's the everything. The megamycete, which is made of mold... And the Cadeau, which is also made of mold, which is made of megamycete. Yes. Um, we're also going to have to do technically four runs through of this game if we want to, like, actually do no. it. <laughs> because there are two routes in this game. You can play as Leon or you can play as Claire. And then there's... Dude, why aren't we playing as Claire? Um, because... Hello? Leon's... Anybody there? Early story is better. Yeah. But also, he's a dude. And you're also supposed to play Leon's first. Something's okay. Not right. uh, but there's Leon A and Leon B and Claire A and Claire B. And I think the technical canon order is Claire A, Leon B. Which is, hey, look All at this right? guy. He looks fine. Look at him. He's bleeding. He's going to be all right. He's resting. I'll be back for you. I had to completely turn off my microphone to move the arm out of the way. <laughs> he closed the door on us. Oh, hey, that bastard. What are you doing? Night Super Show. Well, come on down to the Night Super Show. We got Super Shows. 
Like WWE Super Slam! So, for the first, like, half of this game, it's gonna be like Resident Evil 7, but in third person. Oh. Because half of this game takes place in a uh, police precinct. So it's like very tight corners. And unlike 7, there are certain areas in this game where enemies will just infinitely respawn. Aww, they're lovers. Freeze! I'll shoot! No. No! They're in love! He was just giving him a kiss on the back of the neck with his teeth. No! <laughs> you bastard. How Just so we're all aware, that thing is definitely still alive. Oh. Well, I wasn't aware. Hopefully he doesn't get back up. Key. Yes. What the? That's now the guy from we before. Run. Yep. Get staggered, bitch. And we run, and it's Claire. Yes! Uh, since you probably don't know anything about Resident Evil, do you remember Chris from 8 and 7? Chris Redfield? He was the guy who shot our wife. He killed my wife. <laughs> oh, well, that's his sister. I wish he'd kill my ex-wife. Zombies. Zombies. I hope you like the fucking zombie models here, because these are the only ones you're ever going to fucking see. <laughs> Come on! Oh, white Get people do well. No, there's black people Hold in on. this game. That doesn't change my answer. <laughs> it's home of Umbrella. Umbrella. Nothing could be wrong with that. On. I don't know. Welcome to Raccoon Hopefully City. It's a zombie abyss. Station. It's dangerous to go alone Wait, to make this. Yeah. Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. It's been really funny. Uh, I've been playing Seven Days to Die with some friends on no. a server. Yeah. And uh, whenever I'm just like normally talking to people, I'll have my gain set to like half on, on this. But, like, whenever I'm playing that game, I have to crank it all the way up because one person can't hear me and everyone else goes, Max, why is your volume so goddamn high? Yay, Capcom. Yeah. What do they make? Mega Man. Mega Man, Resident Evil, Ace Attorney. Mega Man. He's a main Mega Man. Shining armor is red, the color of victory. While well, your fruity suit is blue, like your balls will soon be. This is gonna be great. <laughs> oh, oh my god, wait, this might be the first Resident Evil game that you're gonna see that has Hunk in it. Hunk. Hunk. He is the. Everyone unanimously agrees he's the greatest Resident Evil character. Oh boy. It stands for Human Unit Never Killed. Huh. No, hunk. No, 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 All no, no, right, no. that's <laughs> it for today. <laughs> uh, no more from you now. Stop. Stop at you. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to think. I don't know if they can hear the creaky chair. I don't. I don't recall if there's like bosses in this game. Really, mm. I think you. No, okay, no, there's bosses. There's bosses, I can think. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't think of for Leon's story, but then I remember the last time I played this, it was Claire, and I was like, okay, yeah, no, 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 there's bosses. Because, like, for Leon, I was like, I think the only the only boss I can think of is when you fight uh, Mr. X at the end of the game. But then I was like, no, 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 he's, Mr. X isn't even the final boss of the game. Or the first, if I remember correctly. Uh, and you're finally going to get to see viruses. <gasps> There's two in this game. <gasps> There's the T virus and the G virus. Oh, it's the T. Yeah, no, I 
like I say, I'm gonna be here noon-ish. This fucking guy at like 12:03. Well, you like also ETA. you're also the person to be like, oh yeah, I'll be there at noon, and then leave your house at noon. Holy shit! You would do that. There, get out! Get out now! What the fuck? Also, I sent that before you, so go fuck yourself. <laughs> I haven't received it till like noon 03. Well, because you were driving. Yeah. Hey, remember this guy? No. He was the beginning cutscene guy. Oh. He need... He's dead now. I mean, he's resting. YouTube, he's just asleep. He's, he's resting. Asleep. He's resting, it's fine. See? His eyes are closed and his head is open. Like any sleeping person would be. <laughs> It's a sauna. The car is resting. <laughs> <laughs> he went peacefully in his sleep. <laughs> he wanted to be cremated. It was a natural death. <laughs> I mean, he was just bitten Claire, in the neck and bled out. Claire, okay? <laughs> it's a natural death. Bleeding is natural. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I'm right. If you think about it, it's you. all natural deaths. It's all a natural process. <laughs> Can't stay here. It's not safe. Especially since uh, the T virus is derived from a plant in Africa, <laughs> so it's all natural. It can all be traced back to natural. If you think about it, the entire universe is made out of molecules, and chemicals are made out of those molecules. So everything is natural. Alley. It all exists. We just put it together ourselves. It's like Lego. Shit. We we'll play Legos, but with human body it's parts. <laughs> That's how I ended up with a, a horse-man hybrid that had uh, six human arms and two human torsos. There it is. And a Station. foot for a head. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Welcome to Raccoon City, motherfucker. This is on the bus. It's dangerous. Go alone. Take this. Oh, I thought he was naked. <laughs> The first thing the T-Virus does is it turns you into a zombie. The second thing it does is it makes you completely naked. <laughs> That's how it gets you. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it's here or somewhere else, but in the remake, there's like a thing where it's like... I don't know, it's like... Uh, the main villain in Resident Evil 3 is named Nemesis. Yeah, he's the guy that chases you. Yeah, um... And, like, there's, like, an area in the precinct where you can go where you can hear him off in the distance screaming stars as he's chasing down a member of Star's stars. team. And I didn't know that, but I saw a clip of it, and I, I, I don't know. I just think it's cool. Welcome to prison. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, bullets. Yay. I don't like the inventory system in these games. We're leaving that in there. Because A, it's the best hand it's one of the best handguns in the game. And oh, it does hold fifteen shots. I don't know, there's a game where like it holds like three bullets. <laughs> and it fucking <laughs> sucks. But uh, But also it's a new game plus item. We're not using that. Yeah. Can you not just delete it? No. I just have to not take it out of my box. To get out of the box, empty the clip, and then put it back in You the can't box. empty clips in this game. Also, I could take it out of the box and just not load it. It had zero ammo in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Take for those at ammo. home, I know what I'm doing. I know I'm nowhere near where I'm supposed to go. I'm looking for shit. He's hungry. Like He's a greedy little bullets. bastard. Yes, load. That's the thing about him when he's playing games. He's a greedy little shit. He just goes around. No, I want fucking bullets. He's a treasure. Because we're playing Resident Evil. <laughs> He's a treasure goblin. He's just going around getting all the the goodies. He's gobbling them up. Call me the cheese goblin for how much cheese I be gobbling. Don't read into that. <clears throat> Plant. Also, isn't this a police precinct? Yes. So why'd you say welcome to prison? I believe the prison is attached here. Am I gonna cheat these? No, we'll do those normal. <laughs> I mean, you there might. was a time period where I had every single one of them memorized. 
uh, uh, guide pamphlet. Welcome to Raccoon City. While we are the home of pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation, no red flags, Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city. Rich history. Uh, the, uh, the building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. It used to be an art museum. That's why it looks fucking weird. Orphanage. That's not going to be in Leon's story. Oh, neat. Because I'm, uh, there's, I don't know if you play as somebody else in Leon's story, but in Claire's story, you play as somebody else as well. Yeah. And they're a little girl, and one of her sections is escaping the orphanage, and I fucking love it. Even though people fucking hate it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, because it's, uh, it's like you have to do stealth, because you don't have any weapons. Oh, it's, it's fun, fun, because you're a sadist. <laughs> yes. Stealth in video games. And, and also, I fucking love it. when horror games make you play as children. <laughs> um, yes. But you hate it when they send giant mutant babies after you. That, well, I wasn't playing as it was I. <laughs> it's also very fast. <laughs> the words of a madman, it goes very bad, very fast. <laughs> Oh, oh, <coughs> Fuck, help! <laughs> <coughs> Calm <coughs> down! <coughs> Damn it. Are you choking <coughs> on your it's fucking... It went down on your non-specific brand mixed energy drink? It went down the wrong pipe. Oh. Holy <coughs> shit, oh. <you're> stupid. <laughs> oh my god, did you even see the size of the sip I took? No. Oh my god, dude, I took- I only filled my entire mouth and not a single fucking drop went into my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> and then it started burning because it's a fucking energy drink. <laughs> and I think, like, some of the powder wasn't mixed. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. You fucking flashbang yourself with our YouTube channel. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> I am- I'm actually subscribed to our YouTube channel now. <laughs> Uh, and it's funny, because I was like, ooh, I was like, on my shorts, I was like, ooh, Hollow Knight clip, and I clicked on it, and it was fucking us. <laughs> <laughs> and it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> You're not used to have to be. I don't know if it got recommended, because I'm subscribed to the channel, if I got recommended, because it was getting traction, and I watch Hollow Knight clips. <laughs> Probably. Ugh. Probably a mix of the two. <coughs> um, I need to go through all our Stellar Blade episodes. Make oh, clips I of that. Blade. I beat, I um, rebeat my second playthrough of Stellar Blade. I did get all the cans. The lingerie is one of the greatest outfits in the game. <laughs> um, Which is I also why you're realized you get all the cans. I don't know if that I am. I don't know if that <coughs> game is difficult anymore because I played it on the easy difficulty again. You got this. Oh. I think the final boss hit me like three times, or like I only had to heal like three times against him. He went down like a fucking bitch. So on my new game plus playthrough, play switch. On my new game plus playthrough, I'm I upped the difficulty. Oh, that I, being said, I finally understand it. Mm -hmm. Cans. They're they're actual cans. 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 No, that's jugs. He just did the fucking, like, tit-holding motion. <laughs> Everyone at home will understand me better than you ever did. <laughs> I've never heard anybody refer to tits as cans. You don't live the same <laughs> life I do. <laughs> I had a <clears throat> sip of red Gatorade this morning. <laughs> I ate half a pack of ramen raw. Oh uh, my! Uh, Staring at a devil Hatsune Miku. My unnamed um, that wow, uh, there's a clog. Huh. My unnamed energy drink. I bought. Um, they do a sleep support as well that I haven't used yet, so I don't know if it's. I've used one and I didn't like the flavor because it tasted like Trix yogurt, but like liquid form. <laughs> so like it tasted really good and nostalgic, but it was not yogurt fucking texture. Uh, so I almost threw up every time I drank it. Want to go to Walmart and get tricks with me? I did um, mix it with... No. I did mix it with plain yogurt a couple Jesus. times, and that was really good. And, like, it did, like, help me, like, calm Open down up. and sleep more. Hurry. Oh, that's a lot of Open blood. Up. Open this goddamn door. Wait, you're fucking... Calm your tits. 
Pop um, your cans. But uh, I got a new one because I threw that flavor out because A, I didn't like it, and B, I took out like the silica gel packet and they all come together. Um, but I bought a new one and it sounds like it could be good. I hope it is. Um, but they send, sometimes they just send you free shit to get you like, like chain smoke and call into their other products. <laughs> um, normally, every time they've done it before, what I've gotten is I got their like energy snack bars, which are pretty good. Uh, but they, um, uh, they use cricket protein. Some of them were okay. The last one I got was really fucking good. Uh, but this time I was just like, I was like, this box is huge for one small container of powder. And I fucking opened it, and there's just a fucking ramen thing in it. <laughs> so it's like they, they sent me ramen. I also like how you ignore the guy fucking getting cut I've in I've played half. this game before. Yeah. Yeah. If you come back later, he's alive. <laughs> Not alive, but he's, he's a zombie. <laughs> he's just resting. He's resting his legs. <laughs> Stop resisting. Resisting arrest! How does it feel, bitch? <laughs> so, can you not kill the zombies in this No, game? you can. You can. Oh, you just have to make sure that it, It's down. just with this gun, no. <laughs> oh. Jesus. I mean, like, you can with this gun, but, like... Oh. Wasting bullets. I'm not. I, you can't get past them. They'd grab you. Yeah, but you uh, shot one in the hand and then just shot for no reason. Yeah. Not that I wouldn't do the same thing. He clearly doesn't, because that fucker could have fought, like, bit me. <laughs> so what I do like, because three takes place roughly at the same time, in three, you see him get bit. Thanks. Oh. It's actually a really cool scene because he's like, it's a cop that was at this precinct. He's like the top of them. And he's like, I'm sorry. And the zombie was like, sorry. And then he like freezes for a moment and then it bites him. Oh. So, uh, yeah, Resident Evil has the fucked up type of zombies. That's really upsetting. Yeah. It is, yeah. That, uh, that it wasn't like fully gone. Yeah. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. I'm pretty sure there's an outfit in this game that it gives Leon his, like, PS2. Or no, PS1. This game came out on the PS1. It gives him his PS1 outfit as his render as his outfit. Oh, so it's PS1 graphics. <laughs> it's his PS1 graphics for just Leon. Rip the sprite onto this game. <laughs> That's fucking cool. And I refuse to use it because it looks like fucking dog shit. Wait, you have to use it. I don't know if I have it. You need to get that shit. Right I'll put it on if I have it. You might have to not be in the game to change it. I don't know, because no, for no, higher end games, it's kind of hard to just Lieutenant, completely just change that stuff. I might order, actually change his outfit, because, like... First. Actually, no. I'm I'd not going to keep his outfit changed permanently, because in... Re like the Resident Evil, the remakes at least, his outfit slightly changes. Like by the end of the game, like the sleeve is torn off and he's covered in bandages and it's all dirty. So like their outfits wear, but if you change the costume, it doesn't. Right. The only Resident Evil game I will change outfits in is Zero. Because A, the girl you play is in that game. Uh, she has a shit ton of outfits and they're all really fucking cute. Like one of them is just flat out like... A fucking like nurse outfit, but it has a giant ass fucking skirt dress. Um, everyone at home, write that down. Write that down. Keep the nurses away from Noah. Thank you. No, it's not like nurse nurse. It's like sexy nurse. Keep the nurses away from Noah. Thank you. And um, uh, it's I'm <laughs> actually well, she isn't a nurse, but I'm friend with uh, surgeon Jed Aid. I well, that's not her. nurse. She's fine. I saw her a couple... I, not yesterday, the day before. Oh, nice. Because we played D&D. &D. Dungeons and Dragons. And it went... Did you say something completely unhinged again? No, actually, that whole session was one fight, and as I stated in a previous episode of whatever the fuck series... Um, I'll leave that on there. Um, we're doing a One Piece campaign... We were fighting a warlord, and that's what we did the whole session. I thought we were fucking going to die, right? but he hit me at one point, and I realized he's not fighting with weapons. 
this is an ace situation where he relies too much on his devil fruit. If we outlast him, we could win this. I did kill Keelan, though, that if he goes down for a fourth time, my character, in character, I told him this. I was like, if you go down one more time, I'm curb stomping you. Because, <laughs> like, they know at that point of the campaign that I'm a government agent this there to fucking arrest one of them or, like, assassinate them. <laughs> they know they don't care and i just flat out told him it's like dude if you go down you're making my job too easy i'll just fucking kill you <laughs> yay mixed herbs drugs boards how boring i don't think i will ever learn what windows i should put those on sometimes huh. it's obvious Sometimes it's not, because uh, in the man. areas where e um, enemies respawn is they crawl through windows, and you can board up the windows and stop them from getting through. Right. Officer, are you okay? Officer? He's tired. This is this is just the game showing off graphics, because this was the first re uh, modern Resident Evil remake. And then they made Resident Evil 3, and it looks so fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, no shit, at the distance, zombies still look like they're on the PS1. <laughs> I actually love it for that, though. Yeah, I don't know. Some of the windows are already broken, while some have to be broken. That's not a red flag, just claw marks, normal. Like <laughs> this, this is getting boarded. Why? Because zombies will crawl through it continuously. Oh. And this is resident. You backtrack in Resident Evil. Hmm. So it's a video game. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? And I do know, um, on like how that game said second run, or if like you continue and do New Game Plus, the boards stay in place between oh. gameplays because there isn't enough boards to cover every window gotcha like that window i don't come through here enough to really cover both windows here right oh so i forgot i wanted to bitch about you to something um i was cleaning my fucking xbox and ps5 controller the other day yeah the fucking ridges PS5 is not as bad because the gap is very thin, but, like, Xbox is like, now nah, we gotta make it so it, like, looks nice. It isn't just, like, the two halves of the shell, and then there's the fucking detailed and engraves everywhere. I fucking hate it. Especially since my controller is white. Um, yeah, it's not mobs, note. Um, like, they just get so fucking dirty, and I fucking hate it. And I'm sitting in my bathroom with just fucking cotton swabs and cotton balls and fucking isopropyl alcohol. And it just is, like, fucking making me nauseous and lightheaded as I have to fucking just douse them. I fucking hate it so goddamn much. <laughs> but my controller is really clean now. My PS5 didn't really need it, but my Xbox One, like, the case itself was starting to get dirty. Not just, like, the raw ridges. Yeah. But, like, you know, yeah. Uh, my Xbox controller is covered in blood. <laughs> It's the default white one that you get with the console. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, I bought, um, I have a wired Xbox controller that's, like, the tiny one, which it also, it's, it isn't, like, dirty. It's thumbsticks got dirty somehow, and I just haven't cleaned them. But the, um, uh, it's, like, it's just dusty. <sighs> I can't remember if there is a zombie in here or if zombies can get in here. Um... We can't get, like, the good shit out of here yet. Because we're missing some of the keys. Mm. Um, and I need a key card for the shotgun. 109, I should be able to get that. 106, I should be able to get that. And I don't think I can get that. Zombies can get in here. I've been on a kick. Oh, okay, so like, yeah, I wasn't hallucinating that. I could have sworn at one point I was in here and fucking uh, Mr. X came in here. Uh. <laughs> but uh, I've been on this kick recently of 
talking to my coworkers and asking them, hey, uh, what's your zombie apocalypse plan? And one of them was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go to the police station. I'm going to raid the police station for all their weapons. And every single person went, are you fucking stupid? That's literally everyone's first reaction. Do you want to know what mine is? What's your zombie actually, style? And keep in mind, I had this plan before I was into Resident Evil and The Walking Dead. Just so you know what kind of fucked in the head I am. So. Are you moving because you're alive or because you're fucking freaking out? You're freaking out. <gasps> What's a good idea is to get on the floor and just like stab a bitch a couple times <laughs> to make sure they're dead. <laughs> Hey, it's important. Yeah. Because this is the most used staircase in the game. We have a friend now. <laughs> 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 but I'm, uh... Okay, so, first of all, I would keep the... I would stay in the house we are in right now. This is a decent house. It's an old house. The walls are super fucking thick and plaster, so it's like you're, you're not going to break through it. I would, on the first floor... Completely bar every fucking window. Completely block it. Not like bar it, like board them up. Right. Um, and I would block up the front door. Or no, I'd probably... Yeah, the front door, I'd say. Not that we ever use it anyways. But, um... And then from the second floor... I would bar them up, but I'd have, like, the fucking murder holes that, like, castles have Yeah. on that. And then um, I would probably leave the third floor windows untouched. Because, like... If a zombie's dedicated if enough... If a zombie is dedicated up. enough to get up through there, they can have it. <laughs> <laughs> they win at that point. <laughs> Game over. Um, the next thing I would do is I would slowly work on using all of my dad's fucking scrap wood and shit, and I would just slowly fence in the property. It isn't fenced in now, but that is something that we are talking about doing, so I might not have to do that. Second, all of my neighbors... Not like all... I mean, yeah, like, my neighbors, the houses here, they all, like, our houses are weird because they're not... They're built almost on, like, two plots of land... Where it's like how normally, like in neighborhoods like this, it's a house, their backyard, and then the person behind you's backyard, and then their house. Yeah. We just have backyard. One and then it's a street. street. Yeah. Uh, and the houses, like, next to us are like that, too. So then, I'd slowly start fencing in their properties as well into ours and just make a fucking compound. <laughs> yeah, survival. And then community. it's like there's the giant fields behind us. I mean, it's not like a giant field, but it's a huge property. That has nothing on it. It gets swampy at times, but that's because there's nothing in it. That, I would start planting shit in. Right. Um. There's somebody in this, right? Yeah. Are you gonna get up? Are you gonna get up? He's resting. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, that's dead. <laughs> um, in Resident Evil 3, you can come in here and there's noises coming out of it. And, uh, your if you do it, it literally is like, I don't think I want to open that. <laughs> <laughs> um. So then, yeah, I would use that big field, uh, of the house two houses down. Which, I mean, like, their yard is so big, and the house in between us, their yard is so small that his yard touches ours. Um... And I, I would just compound it out and then slowly just build shit. Like, we all have sheds and everything like that. Right. So, to summarize your plan, slowly you're going to... Slowly expand out from You're going to make your house your home base and then just branch outward. Right? Yes. Uh, so, my plan is to kill myself. Uh, I... <laughs> Which leads me to my brother's plan. <laughs> Do we have the same idea? <laughs> yes, Jacob said he would give it a few, like a month or two. I, uh, I'll i do this in a second because I need to think while doing this. He said he would give it a month or two. 
and that if he thinks it isn't gonna be like we can't get like fix it get out of it he said that he was gonna kill himself and then I said yeah but with your dumb luck the second you determine that it's not like it's gonna be like that forever you're gonna kill yourself and two days later it's gonna be resolved <laughs> so he was like you're right if I think we're gonna be fine I'll kill myself and it's like yeah just imagine going up it's like everyone it is my honest opinion that we're gonna make it out of this alive and then you just pull out a fucking gun and shoot yourself <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fix the timeline. Sticks gun in mouth. <laughs> fuck! Oh, fuck daddy, please. Fuck daddy, please. Fuck me in the mouth. Okay. Fuck! <laughs> I'm going to fucking lose my shit. <laughs> Alright, full focus. Nice. <laughs> I was There's really... not a lot of these in the game, so we're fine. I was really hoping you'd fail that. Ah, uh, oh, fuck, now I have to go back to that room. Oh, man. Um, I guess, uh, till next time. <laughs>